Hey guys, Shane Storms with DrawerMotorX.com. Been getting a lot of questions lately on how to Wi-Fi tether on the Moto X. Now, obviously the first thing you, you would do is go to code.google.com and download the Wi-Fi tether app. Uh, many of you have tried that and it's not working. There is a certain method to get that working and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description. It will bring you to this page where you're going to download the 3.3 Beta 2 version of the Wi-Fi tether app. And we'll go ahead and install that. Okay, once it's installed, we'll go ahead and open the application. Okay, so in the application, we'll need to actually go ahead and change some settings to get this working on the Moto X. So we'll go in our settings. And device profile should be ICS JB WLAN 0. Okay, we'll scroll down to the Wi Fi driver reload make sure that that is checked and the keep alive connection we'll go ahead and check that so that should do it uh, it should actually work now so go ahead and test it out it's going to ask for root permissions we'll go ahead and grant that okay so now we are tethering on our Moto X so I'm going to go ahead and connect on my MacBook Pro real quick and show you guys that we truly are tethering. Okay, so we'll go into our settings and connect to our device. Okay, so it's going to show up as this WLAN 0. And I don't have encryption turned on, but you can enable a password on there. Mm -hmm. And it just connected to my phone. My phone vibrated and said that we're connected. So we'll go to we'll go to speedtest.net. Check out the 4G speeds. So I'm kind of in an area that's on the fringe. It shouldn't be too blazing fast. I'm guessing we'll be at about maybe 10 meg down if I'm lucky one and a half up probably so we're getting a little better than what I was thinking definitely better than my DSL from AT&T which is only 3 meg and uh, one thing about this if you're on Verizon and you have one of the limited data plans, you already have tethering included in your package. This is mainly for those of you that still have the unlimited data package like I have. Um, tethering is not included in that package and you would have to use an application like Wi-Fi Tether. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of how to tether on the Moto X. If you have, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.